Finally, from us, the bubble project. Splattered across magazines, flying across the TV screen, popping up on the computer, the average American is exposed to some 150 ads every single day. ABC's Bill Blakemore has the story of one man who has found a way to use those ads to make art. He does it by harnessing the creativity of the people, and it's catching on. Here's Bill's report. He calls it the bubble project. It's illegal. Uh, whenever I see an ad, I bubble the air. A lot of people come to me and they ask me what I'm going to write on it, and I said, nothing. What are you going to write on it? He wants the public to speak, and they do. Sometimes it's political comical. What country would Jesus bomb? Or the revolution will be outsourced. Sometimes it's social psychological. Why think about your life when you can watch us? Movie reviews. Why do I make such stupid movies? Or sometimes cinematic philosophical comical. Desperately seeking purpose, says Gollum in Lord of the Rings. There's now a book called Talk Back with a map showing all the countries that bubbling has spread to through the internet. And there are also people who have started their own bubble project, uh, ProgettoBolla.com from Italy. He got bored working in an ad agency. So I wanted to come up with a simple device that would transform these boring ads that we see. And the idea struck, and that was the uh, talk bubble sticker. But it's risky. We cannot tell you his name. I've gotten a few tickets. I am mostly very cooperative, and I, uh, I promise I'll never do it again. I think I'll bubble a little doggy here. So I'm going to put another bubble right here to this guy. We're going to give her a voice. What would you write? Bill Blakemore, ABC News, New York. Needless to say, that gentleman was in disguise because it is graffiti, and what he's doing is illegal, but the responses are rather interesting.